Hello and welcome again to another screencast from Express Thoughts. Uh, today we're going to be continuing our series on how to work with maps in the Drupal CMS. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a new kind of uh, uh, mapping library, uh, which is creating a lot of buzz at the moment called Leaflet. Uh, Leaflet is a modern lightweight open source JavaScript library for interactive maps. Uh, it's very good because of its performance, simplicity, and other stuff uh, like that. Uh, it's mobile friendly. Uh, I mean, if you go to the website, uh, it weighs about 28 KB of GS code, pretty small, uh, but contains everything uh, most people need to uh, create an online uh, mapping system. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be uh, using the leaflet module, uh, the views module, uh, the geocoder, uh, and other uh, modules. Uh, so, uh, go ahead and download your leaflet uh, module. Uh, so, I'll be using my crush command line. So, we're using our drush command line. Uh, download drush, uh, download leaflet, and that should download the leaflet module. Uh, into our Drupal website. And once that's done, I'm going to enable uh, my module. Uh, rush, enable, leaflet, underscore views, and leaflet. And I'll say yes. Uh, and that should be downloaded for us. Uh, enable right once this has been enabled, uh, the next thing you want to do is um, download the library uh, from the leaflet uh, website. Go to download uh, and I downloaded the version 0.5.1. Extract it into your sites or libraries folder. Create a new folder called leaflet and uh, make sure it's in there. Uh, once that is done, we're ready to start working uh, with the leaflet module in Drupal. So let's go ahead and go to our website. Uh, with, um, let's refresh our web page. Uh, now that we've refreshed our web page, uh, the next thing uh, we're going to do is um, create a new content type for our leaflet uh, uh, map. Uh, so I'm going to create a new content type. I call it, uh, let's add a new content type. We call it leaflet. I'll give you a name of leaflet. Save an ad field. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using uh, two other modules uh, uh, the address field module and the geocoder module. Make sure you've downloaded these two modules and then you'll be able to follow along. Right, so once you have uh, these two modules installed, uh, we come back here and let's create a new field called address field. Uh, call this um, address one. So let's call that one. We'll give it a few type of um, postal address. Uh, you will not see address, make sure it's postal address, dynamic address from, yes. And I click on save. Once that's done, click on save field settings. And uh, we're going to be using United Kingdom. Uh, available countries, uh, we will be only selecting United Kingdom. Select that. Once that's done, I leave every other thing and click on save settings. Once that's completed, let's add a new geo feed. Uh, we'll call this um, geo leaflet. And let's select a few type of geo feed. And we will be using geo code from another field and click on save. Start back and click on save field settings. Uh, yep. And then geo feed from add one geo code. Yes. And we will click on save settings. Once that's done, we've created a new content type for our leaflet map. Uh, so let's go ahead and add some new content and uh, we'll create our map. Now that we've created all the leaflets, the next thing is we're going to be creating a new view. So let's add a new view of type leaflet. Right, let's call our view name leaflet. And let's say of type leaflet. And let's click on continue and edit. 
once that's done we're quickly going to add some fields we're going to be using on our page click on show content and we we'll select fields click on apply and we'll click on apply so let's add two fields quickly we'll add the field uh, add one and the body field click on apply all displays I will check that no apply I remove that bit and we'll click on apply once that's done no we don't need the address one do we no that's not the one we need we need the geolocation field we we'll remove that one and we we'll click on add and look for the geo leaflet and click on apply so that's our geo field which we used and uh, we we'll check that and click on apply once that's done uh, let's select our format and it's going to be a leaflet map click on apply all right our data source is going to be the geo leaflet title field will be the title our description will be the body and it will be the osm map link 400 pixels you can make it bigger uh, map icon we've not got an icon if you've got one you can upload and we will click on apply once that's done uh, we are going to uh, click on save and let's go ahead and view our new page beautiful as you can see uh, now we've got a leaflet map showing the three different uh, uh, markers uh, here is the first one and the leaflet destination if I click on that you see the next one and I click on that you see the next one you can close it uh, you see the leaflet map is really amazing very funky you can drag and drop and you can see how it works uh, I advise you to give you a try. So this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll see you in the next lesson.